Jesus died for our sins. Now, this is not necessarily, it's necessarily true because who's dying for you? Now, if somebody's jumping in front of you due to basically cover a bullet or aim that was directed at you. then of course, we could basically get into these correlations. But there's no actual footage. There's no actual proof of Jesus dying for our sins. Now, that word Jesus is just a term and a phrase of a desire, a demon, uh, existence, and of course, the sun, your solar plexus, which is near the stomach area, which is where it's the highest perspectives. We'll be talking about um, 11 to 12 in the, in the p.m., 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. in those hours. That's where the, hot, the sun is kind of like the hottest because it's kind of like in the area where it want to be. It's kind of like in the center of attention. Now, and this, I keep seeing this term as far as Jesus died for our sins. Now, there's a whole lot of scriptures and there's a whole lot of um, references aiming towards this point. And there's a whole lot of confusion with that, too, because <clears throat> they have you believing that he sent his only begotten son. Now, son is just a predication towards an idea or reference and thing that's being shot off for me. Now, beloved means he beloved this son. So that means he had a feeling with this son. He had an emotion with this son. Now, these scriptures is basically references of architectures of what everybody doing on a day-to-day -day basis now somebody for instance we can utilize martin luther king as far as you know he had a dream and in, in these perspectives and stuff like that we can utilize a little bit of those scriptures now that would be a representation of somebody you know putting their life on the line due to what was going on due to the color system and things that matter but we're not going to get really too deep into that shit now when you look at this perspective and when you look at this order <clears throat> now jesus is just now jesus is like an energy and this energy have a whole lot of you know talks about it a whole lot of expressions about it, a whole lot of experiences about it and a whole lot of um ways of going about it feminine now <clears throat> now jesus is a demon we already know that <clears throat> you already got to look at that perspective because you in hell right now now just because you're in a hellish, hellish ass world, you see a whole lot of holistic things. That don't mean these things do That don't mean you're attracting these things. That means you had a desire. That means you had an intensity or urge for something that you came down here for. Now, everybody got their own path. Everybody got their own footsteps. So by you following anything or anything that's in the Bible is telling you to follow or praise it. You're following a demon and you're being led in the wrong footsteps. And of course, when you're being led in the wrong footsteps, you start to sink. Now, Jesus is just an energy signature that's being used to harness certain energy, certain ideas, and certain ways to basically get your ass reincarnated. Now, Jesus, you are Jesus. You have a Jesus with the inside of you. Now, that's your solar plexus. Everybody got energy. Everybody got desires. Everybody got expressions. Everybody got ways of going about things.